Since the dawn of the new millennium, the United Nations has been warning of the grave consequences of rampant overfishing around the globe. But the story gets worse. Illegal and unlicensed trawlers fishing alongside legitimate boats cause yet more damage. The problem of illegal fishing is enormously widespread. We've had estimates that assess the problem at around 20% of uh, the global catch. These vessels have targeted the territorial waters of some of the poorest and most vulnerable countries in the world, often sneaking in after dark. They go in there and they put up their lights and they mask their call signs. They break fishermen's nets and they hit their boats. And if such things happen, lives can be lost. Today, Earth Report asks the question, will a multi-million dollar illegal fishing industry destroy local fishing communities around the world? the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of West Africa. It's one of the most fertile fishing grounds in the world. For thousands of years, it supported small coastal communities. But as the world's appetite for fish has grown larger, these seas have attracted fishing vessels from everywhere. Back off the coast of Guinea, the inspectors found one of the Chinese vessels, named the Lian Run 14. It was not licensed. Things soon took a more serious turn. The captain produced a license, but it was long out of date. When the captain produced the license dated 2003 to the Guinean inspector, you could see that he understood he was in big trouble. Uh, I don't see. He is not on the list. Tell him it is very good for him now to, to do whatever we want now. If not, we are going to stay here and to call back People will come, the, the ship will come, and we will arrest him. We will take him in our ship, we will, we will carry him, and the ship will follow us. This fishing vessel is under arrest for fishing without a license, fishing illegally in Guinean waters. They never expected a, a patrol, surveillance patrol to come that far from shore, because they know the Guinean authorities don't have the means to come that far. The day after the arrest, the Lian Run 14 was escorted to the port of Conakry, where the ship and its cargo were impounded. The crew was kept on board, which happens in many cases. They're not put in jail, but being held on board their own vessel is the same as being put in jail, really. The crew is never really sure whether their company is going to pay the fine or not, and whether they will be released or not, or when they'll be released. So can be a long time. The Guinean authorities reported the Lian Run 14's owners were fined and the fish confiscated before the vessel was released. <laughs> 